In this lecture, we are going to create a circle indicator for our image slideshow so that an indicator will appear under our slideshow showing how many pictures there are in our slideshow and which one is currently being shown in the image view. To this purpose, we have to add the circle indicator library to our project. I head over to google.com and I search for view pager circle indicator. The first search result is a GitHub page, which I open. I scroll the page down, and here is a demo of the Circle Indicator library. Once we add this library to our image slideshow, we will be able to learn how many pictures we have in our image slideshow, and which image is currently being shown. It is actually very useful both for the appearance and functionality of our image slideshow. In the Gradle section, I copy this line of code Then I return to Android Studio, I go to Gradle Scripts, and I open build.gradle for the app module. Next, I paste it under dependencies following the Glide library. I click Sync Now. And I wait until Android Studio adds the Circle Indicator library to my project. The Gradle operations finished successfully, and the Circle Indicator library was added to our project. To start using this library, the first thing to do is to add this library to our activity main layout. Inside the layout folder, I open the activity main layout. Following view pager, I add a new tag me.relax.circleindicator.circleindicator. My circle indicator requires a width and a height. I set its width to match parent and its height to its default value of 48 dp. And I close my circle indicator with forward slash. So we defined a width and a height for our circle indicator. After height and width, I define an ID for my circle indicator. At sign plus ID slash circle indicator underscore ID. You see that my circle indicator is appearing over the toolbar. 
Obviously, I want it below the toolbar. So I type Android colon layout underscore below. For its value, I enter the ID for the toolbar. At sign ID slash toolbar underscore ID. You see that it is now below the toolbar. Now I must display my circle indicator down the image slideshow or view pager. I want my circle indicator to be positioned at this part of the view pager. So I type Android colon layout underscore margin top. This way I'm giving my circle indicator a margin from the top. Now which value should I enter for this attribute? Note that since the height of the view pager or image slideshow is 220 dp, in order to place our circle indicator at an appropriate position, on the image slideshow, its margin top attribute is usually set equal to the height of the view pager minus 50 dp. So I deduct 50 from 220 and it is equal to 170. So, I give my circle indicator a margin of 170 dp from the top. See here, about 50 dp less than my view pager's height. So far, we created a circle indicator, we defined width and height for it, we created an ID for the circle indicator, and place the circle indicator under the toolbar with the top margin value of 170 dp. We're done with the activity main layout. I close it and I open the main activity class. Inside main activity, I'm going to define an object from the circle indicator class. I type circle indicator and I name my object indicator. Inside the uncreate method, once I have connected my view pager object to its view, I get the reference for my indicator object as well. Indicator equals, I cast the right side to circle indicator, find view by ID, inside the parentheses I type r.id dot circle indicator underscore id so we created a circle indicator object and inside the uncreate method we got the view reference for this object once we pass the adapter object to our view pager I'm going to connect my view pager to the indicator. So I type indicator dot set view pager. Inside the parentheses, I pass my view pager object to my indicator's set view pager method. An object from the view pager class is required. So I'm going to pass the view pager object that I have already defined inside my main activity class.
Note that first we have taken the reference for our indicator and then we have connected the indicator to the view pager. Now let's check out the result on the emulator. Our application was successfully launched on the emulator. As you can see, now we have an indicator down our image slideshow showing how many pictures we have in our image slideshow and which picture in the list is currently being shown. Now I am seeing the fourth picture from a total of 9 pictures that I have in my slideshow. I swipe the rest of the pictures one by one. This also works the same way if I swipe the images backward. Note that we easily added a circle indicator to our image slideshow using a library. And that's it for this lecture. In the next lecture, we will define an unclick event for each of the pictures we have in our image slideshow and further complete our slideshow project.